Now, so far, technologies, ladies and gents, finished the week down 20%. I mean, this is a stock that, of course, reported their Q1 earnings on Monday, and we saw them, of course, beating analyst expectations on both the revenues they generated and the earnings per share, and saw their membership grow by around 433 thousand new members that joined Selfie in the Q1. One of the things that of course was another highlight on those earnings was uh, the fact that Selfie saw their deposits growing to over 10 billion dollars which is something that is incredible especially looking at the current banking crisis which is making banks to lose deposits so seeing so far uh, increasing deposit from the 7 billion or over 7 billion deposits they saw in q4 to over 10 billion uh, deposits they saw in q1 of 2023 it is something that obviously just has to show you or it shows us that so far continues doing well i mean one of the things that like i said it was amazing was them to obviously beat analyst expectations as especially with the earnings per share uh, or in the losses uh, analysts were expecting losses of eight cents so far reported five cents this is something that obviously was incredible or amazing to watch but uh, nonetheless those of i did that well or reported wonderful earnings we saw them finishing the week down 20% resulting in the shares of SoFi finishing the day on Friday trading at $5.16. I mean, on Monday, SoFi was trading around or open Monday trading around $6.50. But on Friday, we saw SoFi finishing the day trading at $5.16, which is something that, of course, it is said or it was said to those that own SoFi uh, technologies like myself. But nonetheless, we remain bullish. We remain long onto SoFi because SoFi remains that company just that obviously um, continues to do well uh, by beating analyst expectations. I mean, I've lost count as to the number of times I've seen uh, SoFi technologies beating analyst expectations or coming out in, on their earnings and beating analyst expectations in terms of the revenues they generate and the earnings per share or the losses which is something that is incredible i mean so far this year in the q4 they are expecting to become a profitable company which is something that each and every so far investor is looking forward to that quarter there are some that are hoping or expecting so far to reach profitability in q3 which obviously it might be possible also but of course q4 we know that it is the official quarter which so far said they will become profitable which is something that makes us to look forward to that quarter now this week ladies and gents something that obviously revived the mode and supposedly it is the thing that made the sofi shares to sort of like recover because you will know that this shares plummet or the dropped towards the four dollar and fifty cents i think on wednesday somewhere wednesday thursday but again they finished the week at five dollars sixteen cents but something like i said that or which might have revived this stock it's when we saw of course the ceo of so far mr anthony noto scooping fifty thousand shares this is something that is incredible something that we of course made this investors or those that invest into so far technologies like us to be confident into this stock to say that if the ceo continues scooping shares this just means that there is a huge potential or even the insiders or including him the ceo they see the potential that lies within this so far technology stock but of course before we forget their house rules you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video now really appreciate you can just hit the like button if you are enjoying the content that i'm giving you about so far technologies ending the week at five dollars and sixteen cents but starting the week at six dollars and fifty cents so if you are enjoying this content please do make sure that you hit that like button as it also helps with youtube's algorithm otherwise if you have not subscribed consider subscribing to this channel and hit that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content because so far technologies it is one of the stocks that i discuss a lot on this channel because in fact this is my second largest holding stock in my stock market portfolio i mean i own over a thousand shares of, of this stock meaning that i believe that this is a stock that obviously it is expected or it will do so well which is why it is my second largest holding in my entire stock market portfolio so or in my portfolios so if so far technology is one of the stocks that you are following so it will be sort of like good that if you also subscribe because like i said on this channel one so far is one of the stocks that we 
discuss so one of the things that obviously after the earnings which like i said made a lot of the sofi uh, technologies uh, investors to be excited it was when we saw like i said mr anthony noto scooping of course 50,000 shares of sofi this is something that obviously made some the retail investors to once again be excited after we uh, we saw sofi technologies plummeting in terms of the share price from six dollars and fifty cents or six dollars and fifty cents rather to five dollars and sixteen cents i mean this week so far technologies was one of the stocks which was expected to surge in terms of the sale price i know there were some people in the streets of twitter always saying that so far it might hit eight dollars there were even some that were saying so far after the q1 earnings it might go to ten dollars per stock which obviously we did not see that but it is not the end of the world because we know that this is a company that is doing well this is a company that continues to get closer and closer to profitability because even in the earnings per share it, uh, it tells you exactly just that because they were expected to report an eps of eight cents they reported an eps of five cents so they continue getting closer and closer to profitability which is something that obviously it is making uh, the so far investors even before the ceo bought the fifty thousand shares to be excited to say that regardless of what happened to the share price but it is a company that continues doing well this is a company that its fundamentals continue improving which is what is going to make it to flourish which is what it excites the investors or some of the investors that are investing onto this stock so i know that obviously you might not like how the share price of sofi went uh, this past week but uh, I, also me i did not like it but the good thing is that we know that obviously it is not based on the earnings they report because the earnings were just so good they managed to beat analysts expectations on both the revenues they generated and the earnings per share and the good thing on those earnings also is that they also raise their guidance which is something that we've been seeing on sofa technologies doing every time they report their earnings that is a very good thing or it's one of the good things about sofa's earnings uh, which is why uh, it is exciting to be investing into a company like this which is being hammered though it continues to do very well which obviously offers the opportunities for us to scoop more shares because we know that this is a company which is just set to do very well otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give it this quick update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get and uh, notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise before you load the boat add so far or buy so far for the very first time do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing onto this stock otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all